welcome back to my channel so we're not even going to talk about where i've been we're not going to talk about none of that right now we're just going to focus on sling this week first thing i'm going to do is take this got to be glue this is the invisible styling gel and i'm going to lay my edges back a little bit with this because my edges they grow so crazy as you can see I'm going to need some assistance on holding these things back. Okay, so now that that's slicked back, then we can go ahead and put on our stocking cap. I would say try your best to find a stocking cap that's like the same complexion as you. Um, I know it's pretty hard because I know most of the beauty supply stores don't sell like brown stocking caps. This is the closest one i could find but i feel like it'll make it a lot easier if you find a stocking cap that's closest to your skin complexion and before we put that all the way on i want to take some some of this alcohol clean the perimeter and what this is doing is just going to get like all that makeup product and all that away so you're Stocking cap can lay and stick. And I'm gonna fan that till it's dry. I don't know why I did this tutorial while I have makeup on. Trying to be cute. Mm. I don't advise y'all to do this while y'all have makeup on. Okay, so the next step, I'm just gonna put a little hole right there. and bring my ear through. Just like that. And there we go. And yes, I did learn this from Glamour Vante. I don't need y'all in the comments, okay? Saying it's anything. I'm giving my girl my her credit. Tay told me. Okay, so now that your cap is on, what I like to do is take that got to be gel again and just put it around the hairline just to mark out where we want to start putting the got to be spray. Okay, so now that we have that down, we're going to take our Got To Be Free Spray. Just spray that thing on, girl. I like taking mine a little bit up on my cornrows because I hate, and I say hate, when my stocking cap lifts. So I like to take it just a little bit on my cornrows and above my ear, too. And then we're going to take our blow dryer and I like to put it on the cool setting and we're going to blow dry it dry. Okay, so now it is completely dry. What I like to do is take my foundation like one pump take this brush share it a little bit on my hand and just brush it on and this is why i say it will probably be easier if you find a cap that's like the same um complexion as you are you because you don't have to Put the foundation on the cap. It will already be your color. Now that we colored that, now we can get to cutting the cap. And I'm taking these little eyebrow scissors.
I put some spray in the back because normally when you cut your air tabs, the cap like lifts all the way up. But see, since I put some spray in the back, it's really not lifting all the way up. So that is another little tip to help you. Okay, now that we cut the excess cap off, I'm just going to put like a little bit more foundation because as you can see, it looks a little too light right there. Perfect. Oh wait, let me cut the some of the back off. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is clean up the hairline again. And this is very important to clean the hairline before you put the glue. The wig is from Elva Wigs. This is the box that it came in. And I really love this box. It's like a little, it reminds me like a little purse. But I think it's so cute. I love anything black and I love anything gold. So I'm here for this packaging. It has like the little magnetic clips right here. And then you open her up. This is where the wig was. The wig was secured in this plastic bag with the, um, hairnet over it and then it was inside of this bag right here and what else comes in the box they have a little pamphlet right here and it has like all the wigs that they offer and more information about the company also came with this weaving net and it also came with this elastic band now I would put the elastic band on, but I want to see how the wig fits like without the elastic band because this might not be needed. So if I want to do my second install and I need the elastic band, then I'll add the elastic band. But I think that's really nice that they included the elastic band. Like I like that. And then it also came with this nail file. I don't know why I came with a nail file, but I'm living for this hot pink. This is really cute. I wish it would have came with popsicle sticks because I don't, I forgot the popsicle sticks to lay this glue, and I'm so upset about that. This is the lace frontal wig that we're going to be applying today. She's still a little too wet because I already bleached the knots, um, and I already plucked her she came pre-plucked but i did pluck some more about this much off so she can look really really natural i love this wig so far it's so soft it is um so like i said this is a frontal wig um 26 inches it was 130 percent density from Elva Wigs. I just went with the natural black and I'm gonna show you the inside. It comes with four combs. I was thinking about removing this comb. So I just went ahead and removed this comb, that middle comb that was right here with this razor because I just felt like that was gonna get in the way when I wanted to part my hair. And plus I'm not gonna put it in my stocking cap. So I really didn't need that one, but I am gonna keep the other three on the sides. Okay, so let's try her on. Also, it came with the adjustments. Like you can adjust, adjust the back to fit your head if you need it tighter or whatever. So I'm just going to clip mine together like this. I'm going to clip mine together like this. I think it fits perfect. So I'm going to just go ahead and lift this up. And I'm also going to add some to the lace. Okay, so once you put your powder on your lace, you want to adjust it again just to make sure everything is looking blended and nice. Now I'm going to take my Ghost Bond glue and start to apply I like doing mine in like little dots and I do section by section 
And like I was saying, I don't have any popsicle sticks right now, so I'm just going to use the end of this razor. And you want to blend, you want to blend down. Because you're sealing the end of that cap as well. Every time I'm done with this section, I take whatever I use to put alcohol on and wipe the end off and start in the next section. Now I'm going to go back in. This is my second layer. And I'm going to take it up a little bit because I hate when my ear tabs lift. Your ear tabs is very important. That's what helps your lay, um, lace lay really good. This piercing gets in the way all the time. And I'm actually going to go out tonight. Me and Bay having a date night. Then wipe again. Don't forget. Don't forget to wipe. Because you're going to regret it. Wasn't recording, guys. Sorry. But all I did different was I added some got to be spray for some extra security. So what I do, I don't cut my lace first because my hairline is kind of weird. So I'm going to apply the wig with the excess lace on. So all I'm going to do is bring it forward in the glue. And comb it back. And I do that section by section. Take this section. And comb that sucker back. Now we're on the ear tabs, and what we're going to do is just cut the excess lace off. So it can fit like that. You really don't want to use your fingers, so... Try not to use your fingers because your fingers have like oil and stuff on it that can cause the lace to lift. I like to take the right tail comb, comb it, and press it. And that's how you get that melt, baby. That we got all that pressed in. I'm gonna take my blow dryer on. <laughs> I'm take my satin scarf and wrap it. Okay, and you're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, now we're gonna take the scarf off. And it should be secure as fuck. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't want this video to be too long, guys. So now I'm just cut in the middle. I kind of need a hand mirror for this. And when you cut the lace, you want to do zigzag. Do not do a straight line because then it's going to, you're going to see it's going to go a yellow shape like this. Don't do it, okay? Cut in a zigzag.
Okay, guys, I finished cutting all the lace off. I'm about to take this clip out. And this is how the wig looks with no baby hair. That's pretty good. I'm so feeling it. <laughs> I do think I want to put a little bit of foundation on the lace because it does look. Oh no. So I do want to put a little bit of foundation like in the front. I'm just taking whatever was left on the brush because the lace was looking a little light. Okay. like so I'm gonna just take my razor comb and cut them you want to take your alcohol free mousse this is the one that I'm using today. Give it a good shake. And I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. I'm gonna dip my edge boost. And I'm gonna just start to lay my baby hairs. Sounds like Chelsea's here. And it's good to use like a really thick mousse. So you don't get that hole that you want. Okay, and once you're satisfied with the baby hairs, what I like to do is take these rapid strips. Okay, guys, so I let the wrap sit. I got dressed, put a lip on, and now we're gonna. Why am I making a mess? Now we're gonna cut it right off. I'm gonna take the little edge of this, the comb part of your edge brush, and just comb it out a little bit. So they're not stuck and stiff. And this is what it's giving. It's giving so natural. I feel like I'm giving Hawaiian. I feel like I'm giving Hawaiian vibes. Like I need to go be on the beach somewhere, girl. Oh, and if I forgot to mention, this is a 13 by 6 frontal wig so i will leave all the information down below if i forgot to mention anything and if you guys don't know what 13 by 6 mean is 13 width 6 inches 
long. So this is just a spray bottle with water. So y'all can see how the hair looks wet and dry. It kind of, oh, I just love this curl. This curl is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It's not too tight, but it's not too loose. Perfect. And I'm just wetting it and taking and running my fingers right through. I am getting some shedding. I am going to show y'all. I know I keep it real. So I would use the hot comb and you know press it out but since this is curly hair i'm not going to do that i just love the way it looks i love that it curls in the root but i just brushed it down but it curls in the root the same texture as the ends and that's very important to me the hair is very 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 soft like i just run my fingers through um i did get some shape um tangling which is expected, especially with curly hair, the way it can knot up a little bit and all that. So, this is all the, the shedding that I got from just running my fingers through and spraying the water on it. This is not a lot at all. Sis, this is nothing. So, <laughs> whatever. So, overall, I do recommend this wig. Like, this wig is beautiful i think it retailed for 183 183 for a 26 inch frontal wig that's nothing especially of this quality like sis go ahead and grab this wig okay so thank you all for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it i hope you all go grab this wig because it's so bomb also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you know always i love you all and i see you in my next video